Hello everyone. Even with the development of the internet and social networks, many people still think that cosplay is a silly hobby. According to them, dressing up as characters from movies, comics or video games is something for children with nothing to do. And they wonder, what could be so cool about a spray painted suit made of curtains? But we believe that these people are mistaken. In the last few years, cosplay has not only become very popular, but it has improved in quality. And cosplayers have learned to create absolutely incredible costumes. You don't believe us? Well, we have a lot of proof, so it's time for you to check it out. Let's get it on. On the one hand, there are amateur cosplayers who are learning to create the outfits of their favorite characters. On the other hand, there is Beverly Downen. Not only does she create costumes and props from different movies, but she also makes video tutorials where she explains each stage of her work, all in order to share her experience and inspire beginners. One of Beverly's best works is the Wasp suit. When Marvel asked her to recreate this costume for Marvel Becoming, Beverly promised to do her best, and she created a real masterpiece. The suit had perfect proportions, incredible textures, and was completely handmade, including the accessories and the wings. It was a very big and very complex project, but the result was definitely worth it. How to cosplay a character who wears a fishbowl on his head? Sam from Black Zero Cosplay knows the answer. This outfit was also created for Marvel Becoming. First, Sam painted the details of the armor, figured out the colors, density, and thickness of the materials, and only then he started to work on the costume. Sam confessed that when he finally got all the materials he needed, he had only two weeks until the deadline, but he made it. By the way, the fishbowl on his head is made of an acrylic globe, and for the lighting, he used LED connected to conventional batteries. We doubt that Sam could see anything through the glass and the smoke, but the result was amazing. Becoming Thanos is not an easy challenge. In addition to creating clothes using materials at hand, you need a purple face and a large chin. However, Lee Hurley admits that he likes to make things that are computer generated in the movies. It's hard, but exciting. For this reason, after designing Groot's suit, he decided to become Thanos. Lee started with the head, which is the trickiest part. To reach the height of Thanos as well, the cosplayer bought platform boots and then added an extra base to them at home. Not the most convenient option, but the result was perfect. To sew the new clothes, Lee enlisted the help of his mother-in-law and his wife's grandmother, but he created everything else on his own. Thanks to the nebulous suit and a fantastic makeup, Amber Skies can become a completely different person. Her real name is Amber Malinsky, and she's a school teacher, but even her students don't recognize her when she's disguised as a fearless space mercenary. Amber hides her long blonde hair under a special cap and applies the makeup on her own. The first time, it took her six hours, but over time she gained some experience, and now the girl only needs three hours to do the job. And if this cosplay isn't enough for you, here's another interesting fact. Karen Gillan, who plays the role of Nebula and director James Gunn have admired Amber's work on Twitter. For the Marvel Becoming event, Jessica Drew Johnson picked Hela from Thor Ragnarok. The suit is mostly made of pieces sewn together, because Hela doesn't wear any armor or anything like that. Why would she? But the real problem was the helmet. It is a fancy helmet with a ton of detail, which is pretty hard to build on your own. The cosplayer used a 3D printer and a special material, PCTPE nylon. After all, the design couldn't have been too heavy, otherwise it would have been very difficult to hold it on the head. Was the result worth it? Definitely. In 2013, Amanda Rose dressed up as Black Widow for the first time. She did it for a Halloween party, and suddenly a lot of people realized that the girl really looked like this character. Over time, Natasha's image in the movies changed, and therefore she modified her suit. But it wasn't easy to recreate the Infinity War outfit. It had many more details than usual, plus it's more of an armor than a suit, not to mention the huge variety of accessories, lights, and other features. Amanda used a 3D printer for the first time to create the details of Black Widow's weapon. Chris Burns has a similar surname to Bucky Barnes, better known as the Winter Soldier. Fortunately, Chris didn't have to amputate his arm to pull off this cosplay. First, he had to mold his real arm by wearing a plaster cast for several hours. Then he used this mold to create a foam latex sleeve. Compared to this cybernetic arm, the rest of Bucky's suit looks pretty simple, but it took the cosplayer about four months to create the entire suit. 
It was a collaboration of several artists who joined forces to create the Winter Soldier costume. Zeech Evangelista, winner of the Game of Thrones cosplay contest at Asia Pop Comic Con Manila 2017, appeared in a Night King costume. Even if you've never seen this TV show, you probably know this blue-faced villain. Zeej has been cosplaying since 2009, and at first he created his costumes with his mother's old clothes, but over time he grew into a real pro. The Night King costume is made of rubber and leather, and the mask was first made of clay and only later filled with latex. To make his eyes glow blue, Zeej added blue LEDs to the mask, and he also wears contact lenses, which make the costume really creepy. Some people know Alicia Marie as a model and fitness guru, but for most people, she is known as a cosplayer. Alicia loves Warcraft, Star Trek, and video games, and of course, she occasionally tries on different costumes. For example, at the San Diego Comic Con in 2018, she became Machiko Noguchi from the Alien vs. Predator universe. We must admit that Alicia turned out to be a really cool warrior. Joker, Sarah Connor, The Raven, Pennywise, Jess Herline has done many cosplays, and although most of them are based on an excellent makeup, we have to admit that Jess is very talented and continues to grow as an artist. It's not that hard to make funny clown pants, even your grandmother can help you out, but not anyone can recreate the Pennywise look and make you feel uneasy. Want to see something really creepy? The Angel of Death from Hellboy. Numerous eyes on the wings, a body made of bones, a scary smile, claws, a dirty veil. This character was chosen by San Diego cosplayer Linda. Although the costume was very difficult to make and even more difficult to wear, Linda loved it. For her, cosplay is an art that she gets to share with other people and that scares them to death. Okay, Linda didn't say that last part, but just look at her wings with eyes. And this, this thing? on her forehead. Definitely not the kind of cosplay anyone would want to see late at night. It's scary and awesome. When you have long hair and a large beard, you won't have any problems to cosplay a Viking, like the ones in the famous series, or Aquaman, like this guy from Britain, whose name we unfortunately couldn't figure out. But he looks great even in these gold scales and his green shoes. Seriously, who else looks good in green shoes? Even the trident in his hand looks pretty cool. He probably can't talk to sea creatures, but he'll definitely get along with comic book fans. Plus, he's got not one, but two Aquaman outfits, and they both look amazing. A girl named Kirsten from Los Angeles knows a lot about cosplay and chooses all kinds of characters for her costumes, from Siri from the game The Witcher to characters from comics and sci-fi movies. At Dragon Con 2019, she dressed up as Mira from the movie Aquaman, and honestly, this costume looks even better than the one from the movie. Sorry, Amber Heard, looks like we found your replacement. It's amazing that despite wearing an uncomfortable costume, Kirsten seems pretty confident, and even the wig can't ruin her mood. If you saw the movie Avengers Age of Ultron, you probably remember Hulkbuster, one of Tony Stark's armors which stood out for its impressive size and its power, of course. Creating a three meter tall suit isn't easy though, but it's not impossible either. And imagine the faces of people at Comic-Con. If you don't believe us, ask Thomas DiPetrillo. He and his team specialize in large-scale projects. For example, their outfit list includes a Bumblebee cosplay from Transformers. <laughs> to become Hulkbuster, or rather to wear the suit, Thomas needs the help of two people, because the suit weighs about 45 kilos. That's 45 kilos that you have to wear without falling off. According to Thomas, a costume like this costs about $60,000. Do you still think that this is a hobby for kids? As you've probably noticed, people really like cosplays with many details. Even better if the character's really creepy, then you'll definitely become famous. For example, you can dress up as the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. You have to work hard to do that though, because this isn't a character that you can recreate with a piece of spandex. In this case, you need a special mechanism which will make viewers unfamiliar with the series Shiver. and the fans are going to start screaming with enthusiasm, or maybe run away scared if you do a job as great as Carl Lex. 